All right, man, let's talk about Jalen Ramsey. Um, let's talk about Jalen Ramsey and the number 17 pick. Obviously, the, the Lions have the number 17 pick in the draft, as we all know. Um, and a lot of people have been with that pick, taking the cornerback. Now, my thing is this. When you look at the Lions roster, they have a preferable of young cornerbacks or guys that can play cornerback. That's all been drafted in the last couple of years have been acquired in the last couple of years. Okay. Um, you know, and my thing is you got a lot of youth on the back end. You need a veteran, bro. Excuse me. You need a veteran back there. And I don't think, you know, if you believe in Jeff Okuda, the being a solid number two, and the potentially growing into a number one. Now I must put the disclaimer out there that Jeff Okuda was not Brad Holmes' pick. And of course, Brad Holmes is not going to kick Jeff Okuda wide down. But you start to look at some of the corners they got. I don't count Will Harris, Mike Hughes gone. But Jerry Jacobs, solid. One year coming off a leg injury. Jeff Okuda, you know, he was a top three pick already. You know. And then, you you know, Rarie, more than likely, he gone. I think the back injury and I think playing for his money uh, became a problem. But then you you continue to go down there. Then you got Melifanu who can play, go back to corner. He been injured, but he can go back to corner. I think that's probably best for him because then you got Deshaun Elliott, Kirby, John, Kirby Joseph, and you got Tracy Walker. So in, in, in reality, you really you can move him back to corner. So that gives you Jeff Okuda, Melifanu, Jerry Jacobs at corner. And, yes, they do need to address the cornerback position. They most definitely do. Now, I feel if you don't believe in Jeff Okuda, then fine. You go out there and you, you, take, a, you take a corner in the first round. But what y'all have to remember, too, when you're talking about drafting a corner in the first round, what you have to remember, it takes time. There, y'all coming in, and y'all saying, "Well, we want an impact player right away." Somebody, a cornerback, usually that it takes time to get in there, and and, and to have that impact, y'all. That take time. That take time to have that impact. So banking on a corner to come in and do what Marcus Peters did, or do what. Marshawn Lattimore did his rookie year, or do what uh, 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 the kid from Kansas City did, McDuffie from Washington. You know, it's I, I would be nice to say it's 50 50 odds. You know, so you're not coming in and getting an impact, a, a, a for sure impactful player. It's not like drafting a receiver or drafting a running back, and you know he's going to come in and he's going he gonna to be impactful. It ain't that. It ain't that. So if you planning on moving from on from Jeff Okuda, I'm fine with it. You know, I um, and then you know you look at the uh, you know, and I'm pretty sure it's good corners in the second round. People don't really kind of understand, like you like one minute y'all y'all be like, well, I want an impactful player. I don't want to work. Wait on the quarterback. You gonna wait on the cornerback. Especially the, the difference between playing in the league and playing in college. In college, you could be way more physical. You know, if you talk about one impactful players that historically make an impact right away, you talk about running backs. Um, you talking about uh, uh, tackles, guards, pass rushers, interior linemen, you know, stuff like that, receivers. So, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I'm not taking no tight end, though. I like the kid, though. But at the end of the day, uh, that's a bad omen for them draft tight end in the first round. I think we all established that. At the end of the day, um, uh, I, you know, I, you know, you'd be like, well, what if they don't believe in Jeff Okuda, but still they would need a guy like Jalen Ramsey. Then in the second round, you started to look at, at corners that's there in the second round. You got you got look out there. I don't know who Jalen Jones is, but hey, you got him taking him in the second. But then you start you started to look in you started to look in the second round for corners or later for corners because you got Jeff Okuda where the corner can learn behind. But I think the smart thing to do was, was to try to put a package together for, for Jalen Ramsey. 
Now, if you really believe in the talent of Christian Gonzalez, Colleen Ringo, or, or whoever may fall there, whoever may fall there, I, I'm with you. Go ahead and go get them if you believe in that talent. But to sit here and say, well, we, we trying to win next year, you got to understand. Um, the, the, the three biggest things that they need, not even from a positional standpoint of view, the three biggest things that the the, Pist the Lions need, they need more. If you're going to stick with Jared Goff, you need more explosive. You need more explosive play players, guys who can make plays, guys like Kirby Joseph. You got to need guys. Who can who could be game breakers? Who could take a little uh, uh screen to the house? You know what I'm saying? You need guys that can take a kick return in the house. That's one need that nobody's talking about. That's one need that somebody that's nobody talking about. You know. You need guys that, that you can just dump the ball off and hand the ball off. They can get the kickoff and go the distance. Or guys that can take a pick six to the house or guys that can turn the football over. You know? So that's, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. And right now, taking the corner in the second round, in the first round, he better, you know, he better be good eventually. But if y'all y'all preaching the here and now like Luther Vandross, then you know usually that's not the position to go, especially early. You know that's not usually the position to go with. Oh, so that's my opinion. But I I would rather take. I would rather take, you know, and people not gonna like that. I'd rather take 17 and go get Jalen Ramsey. Oh, you gotta pay him. But we can't sit here and complain about how we can't sit here and complain how Detroit don't want to pay nobody. You got the youngest team in the, in the NFL, bro. Don't forget that. You got the youngest team in the NFL. You need you need some vets. If you're gonna make if you gonna make if you gonna make that jump next year, you need some vets. You need some vets. And I pay Jalen Ramsey. And like I said in previous videos, I like Jalen Ramsey's ability to eventually, you know, kick to left, kick to uh safety eventually, like Rod Woodson or a, a hybrid uh nickel safety. Like Charles Woodson did, and Quadre Diggs played played that position in Detroit. I like him to do that. You know, is that the bar song? And I like I like him to do that. You know, and I like him to do that. So, and that's my opinion on it. But I think you way better off doing, or unless you could put a package of later picks together and go get Jalen Ramsey and known commodities, because we do know the Rams need help at running back. You could ship DeAndre Swift right over there. Maybe you could throw some seconds together and go get them. Or you could say, you know what, I could trade seventeen. I trade seventeen and, and go get them. You know. But I'm doing that unless you see, unless you can go get James Bradbury in free agency and go get or get a veteran that you really like in free agency without giving up the capital. And that and that's an option. And that's an option. So, you know, that that you know, that's that's an option. So um, but yeah, that's that's what that's just what I feel I feel about it. Um, I know a lot of people may not uh, like it, and they so infatuated with the quantity of picks, but they got to be quality. And at some point, you you know you know you just you know sometimes you just can't wait on on these young guys to become superstars and become pro bowlers and to become all proers. Sometimes you simply can't wait. Sometimes you got to go out there and get them and, and get in somebody like Jalen Ramsey. Give you star power, you know what I'm saying? It gives you star power, 
And at the end of the day, it gives you uh it gives it gives it gives you it gives you a, a boost. It gives you a boost, bro. You know, and, and it gives you that veteran in the locker room that can help lead them young corners, you know, and, and he's a champion. You know, he's a champion. He can help lead those young corners somewhere, you know, and give them the game. That's kind of give them a perspective that, that a coach can't give them. You know, kind of give them that perspective that a coach can't give them. So, um, kind of chew, kind of think about that for a minute. But uh, that's what I got. Check out your Trey Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find us on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Uh, Goodfella TV. I mean, Marcy Sports Talk. Don't forget to check my main channel right, uh, out right here on YouTube, Goodfella TV. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.